Hello, everyone. Michael Vandergrift, MCV Realty, coming to you today with an update from a mastermind I was I just uh, attended. Um, had a five-person panel of uh, some of the top brokers here in the uh, Fort Wayne area, um, and it really was great just to hear what they had to say on different topics. I mean, Ben Crenshaw, um, Keller Williams, I'm a little bit biased, but I'm going to say he knocked it out of the park on mindset. Um, which I'll go over a video on that later. He had a great uh, slide on mindset and having a positive mindset uh, and, and running a business and knowing that, you know, as a real estate agent, you're a small business owner. You really are. Um, you got to go out there. Um, Jim Bradley came in second. He covered the buyer agency agreement, which we believe is going to become law here soon, um, just so that more people have transparency on there's a sell side, buy side. Typically, right now and historically, the seller has paid uh, the commission because they utilize the equity in their home. Um, but now that's changing kind of, but you can build in that buyer agency into the loan or financing and put it on the settlement. They made it a lot easier. Um, but it's one of the things, you know, when you do, when you bring in a new client, I always try to sit down with them for a get together on going over the buyer's consult and go over this and, and set up an agreement that we're in agreement that I'm your realtor. I'm going to be working for you, protecting your interest doing all the things and the buyer agency agreement now has a list of items and duties that I have to fulfill for my clients to make sure that I'm not estranged from them and, and doing a series of events and procuring the home for them. So I think there's a lot of good things with it and I know the media always wants to spin it negative, but I think it's a great thing for consumers to have more transparency. And since I've started, I've always told people that. So I've never been a lot of times back in the day, a realtor's got in trouble. I think a lot of these lawsuits are coming up because they were telling people they were free. Well, you weren't. You know, you're getting paid, but it's just the seller typically pays that. Um, so when people are selling and then buying, they're not paying twice. They're only paying commissions one time, just the seller's paying it. So, but that's going to be changing here soon, but we want to make sure we're transparent on how we get paid, you know, and that stuff. Because, you know, you're not running a business for free. Nobody can do that, you know. Um, and on those contracts, there has to be a beginning and an end. Um, there's some debate on how long these should be. I usually do mine one to five years, but I usually establish that relationship with my clients to let them know that, hey, I want to be your realtor for life. You know, I want to be the one that protects your interests and helps you in your next few moves. So, you know, we're going to have to look into that now because it kind of stunned the room on uh, the length of some of those. Um, and you want to make sure you got proper service. How, how often do they want to be touched? How often do you want to stay in contact because I know the buying process from the time you think about it till you actually do it is on average 18 months and in this market with some trickiness in it uh, it could be a little longer you know it could it could be a while you know it's normally we'd say we can get your house in 30 days uh, this market's probably gonna be 30 to 90 you know the inventory is just so low and it's been so low for so long that you know we, we've got to look at uh, more houses than we probably usually would like to so yeah and then third on the list, Tony Didier did a really good job at ad-libbing and doing his on the fly, kind of piggybacking on everybody else's presentations. So, yeah, but a lot of great information was today. Um, it was not as packed as last year, so hopefully next year it will be, because John Good does this for the top 300 agents from real producers and puts out this great content for people to help us be better agents and serve our clients better. So I'm always interested in doing stuff like that to help out you, you know, so if you have any questions, concerns, or want to look into making a move sometime in the future, call your favorite realtor, Michael Vandergrift. Everyone make it a great day. Grace and peace.